Hi guys, I'm Ng Jinang and today I will be explaining on my lab project which is the hydrostatic force on the plane surface. The experiment that I choose in the topic of the fluid static is based on the subtopic 2.6 which is the hydrostatic force on the submerged plane. This experiment is about the hydrostatic pressure system which allows for the measurement and development of the hydrostatic force and center of pressure. Hydrostatic pressure is the pressure exerted by a fluid at the equilibrium due to the force of gravity. A fluid in this condition is known as the hydrostatic fluid. Thus, hydrostatic pressure apparatus has been designed to study on the hydrostatic force on an object. The objective of this lab is to determine the hydrostatic force acting on the plane surface when the surface is partially submerged. Next, to determine the experimental center of pressure with respect to the theoretical center pressure for each of the trial performed. Methodology of this experiment This experiment is based on the principle that the sum of the moment above the pivot must be equal to zero. Thus, the moment due to the weight or the mass applied to the layer must be equal to the moment due to the hydrostatic force acting on the vertical rectangular quadrant. Then, by using the known mass applied to the end of the system and height of the water in the tank, the center of pressure and hydrostatic force can be calculated. Setup of the experiment. First, we have campaign screw, pivots, adjustable counterbalance, water lead valve, balance pants, bead level indicator, balance arm, quadrant gear, and finally the spirit level. Experimental procedure. First, the hydrostatic system must be set up on the flat surface and then adjust the screw fit until the built-in circular spirit level indicate that the tank is level in both planes. Next, adjust the counterweight so that the balance arm of the bin is horizontal with no water in the tank. After that, fangraph water was added to the balance pan. In this situation, the balance arm was not in horizontal position. Thus, water was filled into the tank until the balance bin back to the horizontal position. Then, the reading skill was read and recorded. Repeat the process from step 3 to step 5 for 4 times with adding of 10 grams mass for each repetition. Figure 5 shows the initial value of setting of the experiment. Figure 6 shows the derived equation that will be used for the remaining of the calculation. Figure 7 shows the data of theoretical height versus major height of water for a given mass. It can be carried so a linear relationship with a slope of 0 0.9982 and its approximately equal to 1. Thus, it can be concluded that the data collected is accurate. Figure 8 shows the linear relationship between the hydrostatic force acting on the vertical rectangular surface and the major height of water. In this graph, we can clearly see that the hydrostatic force increases when the major height is increased. This can be explained as the moment about pivot on the right end of the balance arm must be equal to zero. The moment due to the weight of the applied mass is equal to the moment due to the hydrostatic force on the surface. In this context, as high increase, hydrostatic force increases, the weight also increases. The data collected from the hydrostatic pressure system is also able to provide the information on the center of pressure on the vertical surface at various height. Carrying from the graph that the center of pressure is decreasing with the increasing of the major height. This shows the linear relationship between the center of pressure and the major height for the partially submerged surface. This result was supported by the R square value of 1. Thus, a height increase in the tank, the center of pressure also decreases. In conclusion, the hydrostatic pressure system in this experiment accurately measured the height of the water in the chamfer need to calculate the hydrostatic force. The reading of the calculated hydrostatic force increase as the height of the water in the tank increase. This can be proven by the linear plot of theoretical versus major water height in which the slope is 0 0.9982 and is approximately equal to 1. Besides, the center of pressure in this experiment also decreasing with the increasing of the height of water in the tank, which is aligned with the theory of hydrostatic force. Thus, the objective of this experiment was achieved. That's all from me. Thank you for watching.